Hello and welcome to the Titus Timeout Podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Civi. Today I'm going to answer the question, what is DOAS? So before I get into that, I am using some new technology today and I don't know why it made it smaller. So I will tr- apologize for that and I'll try to resolve this before next week's podcast. Okay, so DOAS stands for Dedicated Outdoor Air System. Before we get into DOAS systems, let's talk about economizers. So it kind of started with economizers. Economizers were originally developed as a means of reducing operating costs. When outdoor temperatures were below the supply air temperature, the economizer would allow outdoor air to be used as a source of free cooling. So we have our economizer here, our fan, our coils, an inlet for return air, and the supply air going to the space. And then over here you have outdoor air. So the idea of the economizer is when it's say 55 degrees outside and if you have 75 degree to return air, you'll just use the 55 degree outdoor air and supply your space so that you don't have to pay to cool down the air. And that way you get free cooling. So depending on where your building was located, this could save you a lot of energy and operating costs. While economizers were once optional, they're now required to meet minimum ventilation requirements. So this feature that was originally intended to save energy has kind of been switched to something to meet ventilation purposes. The challenge to bringing in outdoor air and mixing it with return air is that if you have this space or this layout and you need 500 CFM of fresh air in this large space in front and 100 CFM of fresh air in the other spaces in this in this office and now you have your economizer bringing in all 900 CFM of outdoor air to supply the space how do you know that you're going to get your 500 CFM of fresh air into the space where you need it or 100 CFM into the other spaces So that brings us to the Dedicated Outdoor Air System, or DOAS. It's an air handler specifically designed to provide 100% outdoor air. While a conventional VAV air handler delivers ventilation while primarily conditioning the air, the DOAS is all about ventilation. Rather than bringing in a fraction of its supply air from outdoor air through the economizer, the DOAS has a large outdoor air intake that is designed to provide all the necessary filtering, dehumidification, heating, cooling necessary to use outdoor air. And because the DOAS unit will see the whole range of outdoor temperatures and humidities, the DOAS unit typically provides improved filtration, better humidity control, and higher quality coils. Since the DOAS system is only handling the ventilation air, you use less air than you would in a typical VAV system. You would also want to use a parallel sensible cooling system to handle the sensible load in the space. So the DOAS handles the latent load and the sensible cooling system handles the sensible load in the space. This is why you see DOAS systems used in chilled beams or chilled fan boxes with sensible cooling coils like our LSC. Those systems handle the sensible load, the DOAS handles the latent load, and you decouple the sensible and latent load, and there's some huge benefits from that that I will talk about next week. So using a DOAS unit allows you to know that you're providing ventilation to all the spaces because that is all you're bringing to them. That's what a DOAS unit does. We'll talk more about this next week. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking the time out with us.